Welcome back. Today we're going to try out the brand new anvil on the brand new anvil stand. And to do that, <clears throat> we're going to take this scrap of 5 8 inch rebar and do something with it. I haven't decided exactly what. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be a knife. So, time to get to work. First things first, we definitely want to get this thing straightened out. It's going to be a lot easier to work with. So here I am just shaping the front end of the blade a little bit, uh, not really putting a point on it, but more just uh, rounding it a little so I have less work to do later. Kind of working half off the edge here helps to move the metal faster. When you're drawing out metal, it definitely helps if you can work about half on, half off the edge of the anvil. You want to strike like, okay, and that helps to draw that metal out faster. For this part here, I am shaping the spine of the knife and the uh, uh, the edge of the blade, um, and then I'm also beginning the bevel so I have less to grind off later. You'll notice that as the uh, as the metal gets thinner. Uh, it cools off a lot faster, which on the one hand gives you less time to work, uh, but on the other hand, it heats up a lot faster too. So there's kind of a, there's give and take there. So next I am going to use the grinder to trim off the excess handle material, then we'll take it back to the forge to do the final touches on shaping the handle. So here I'm making a essentially a little curl at the end of the handle which will serve as a pommel for the knife. I'm finding that the horn on my anvil is not quite the right shape for what I'm trying to do here. So I may either decide to reshape that horn a little or possibly make a hardy tool or something that will allow me to um, to make tighter curls in uh, metal that I'm working. We have a visitor. Hey, 
Cisco, go catch some mice. Just kind of putting the finishing touches on the blade. And then uh, I'm going to harden it, at least as much as uh, rebar will harden. And I'm going to do the rest with the, uh, with the angle grinder. And I'm going to straighten it out a little bit more. And I think I want just a little bit more heat before I put that in the water. Now I really only want to harden the edge, so... So that's kind of the shape I'm going for there. I'll spend a little bit more time with it. Um, I don't know that I'm going to put a real good edge on it. I'll probably just give it a kind of a cosmetic edge um, and I might call it good for now. Sometime when I get a better setup for knife making I might come in and put a really good edge on there. Uh, but we'll see. Now to put the edge on, I am going to actually use a grinding wheel. This was obviously just a uh, just a cutting wheel, which is kind of what I needed to uh, clean up the profile of that blade a little. One thing, of course, to be careful of is that you don't heat up the blade too much while you're doing this. I'm going to keep the blade cool because it's already heat treated and it would be a shame to have to try to go back in when you've got really, really thin metal and uh, try to harden it up again, things are going to warp and everything else. So you want to try to avoid any discoloration as you're, uh, as you're grinding on the edge. And this is one of the reasons why actual knife makers will use, uh, they'll use uh, sanding belts and things of that nature. But this is what I have to work with. So this is what I'm working with. So there it is, the finished knife. Uh, I had a lot of fun making this. It actually turned out somewhat better than I expected. Uh, I haven't made a lot of knives. This one, I like. I like the shape of it. Uh, I like the way it feels in my hand. It's actually pretty ergonomic. Uh, it probably feels best with uh, using this loop kind of as a pommel. Uh, it probably gives the best control. Uh, but there is actually a functional purpose to this, and that is that if I am, if I'm working on something and I need my, both of my hands, I can just drop the knife, but it's right there. So I can flick it back up into place. So uh, that's kind of the idea behind the loop on the end there. I didn't do a great job on the edge. Uh, honestly, it's quite dull <laughs> right now, but uh, I don't really have good equipment for sharpening a knife. So it would take me a long, long time. And I just didn't have time for that in this video. So I may down the road, if I get some better equipment, um, I, uh, I may actually use this as a project just to demonstrate sharpening 
uh, you know, profiling a knife and, and sharpening the edge. Uh, but for now, I'm satisfied with this, and I uh, really appreciate all of you joining me, and we'll uh, see you in the next video. Thanks.